start talking about Diablo 4. <laughs> I should give you guys my takes more often because I, I saw a few comments of people saying like, oh man, like this is like one of the only things he's ever said that I like agree with. Should I give you my takes more often instead of just... Okay, the only takes you guys get from me are like dog food flavors. You need to go on a rant. <laughs> Dude, hey, go on a rant. No, you don't want a rant. Like, you don't want a bunch of takes from me. I, trust me. You don't. No, you don't. You really don't. I'm telling you. Three of you are going to go based. And 10,000 of you are going to go, what is you? Sh what? Shut up. But back when Diablo 2 came out, you have an NA education. Yes, I do. What do you want me to say? Yes. You want me to deny that? No, I don't. Shut up, idiot. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I, I have a, a North American education. Time is moving too fast. It's so fucked up that it's August of 2023. Why is it... What happened to 2020? Well, I think I can explain what you're feeling. Uh, COVID deleted two years. Yeah, COVID essentially just absolutely liquidated two full years. So that it, it, that's why it feels like 2021, because 2020 and 2021 and some of 2022 barely even happened. So, yeah, we time traveled from 2020 to 2023 in a lot of ways. We should make a petition to petition to go, revert back to 2021. That's kind of interesting. That's weird. Ladies and gentlemen, we have decided in Congress we are going to be introducing the Rewind Time Act. Uh, myself and Senator Stevenson over there thought it was a good idea to rewind time back to 2021 because uh, COVID fucked up everything for two years. Isn't there like a wild theory that we're in the wrong year? I heard that somewhere. That it's actually like, it's not 2000, it's not like 2000. We're living in like the, like the 1400s or something, right? Isn't that what I heard? Isn't that what you heard? I heard that. Did you hear that? I probably heard this theory on a fucking YouTube short that I scrolled by. <laughs> Dude, every time I open up YouTube shorts, I just gotta tell you. I... I think I'm getting older. I'm getting a lot older. And I, I can definitely feel myself growing up, but I scroll through YouTube shorts and I just go, what is going on? What is happening? I'm like, I'm, am I older? I'm too old now. I'm, I'm too old for this. What's happening? I will scroll through YouTube shorts and... I just kind of, I, after like 10, I just stop. And then I go back up three, because I go, there's no fucking way that's what I just watched like a minute and a half ago, is it? And I give that person like five more views in a row. It's just like, no, there's no way that what I just watched was what I just watched. Oh, it was. Was it? If you don't understand Skibidi Toilet, you're fine. I've seen it. I've seen it. I watched it. That's the one where the people with the cameras for faces are like punching the people with the toilets, right? And it's, they're like in a gigantic, there's like a big fight. Zoomer, humor, enjoyer, Andy. I've made this statement before and it, it's very, very real. Zoomer humor is, is very, it's over very quickly. When you talk about Zoomer humor, I can decide if I liked something in literally eight seconds. Boomer humor I might have to sit there for 30 minutes while they explain like a whole thing and then tell it to me like at the end of that. So it's like the the one good thing for me about Zoomer humor is it's either good or it's not very quickly. But I, I do love that Boomer humor style where you kind of have to tell a whole elaborate story for one thing that might be kind of funny in the middle. Do you have a private jet? I feel like if I flew in a private jet one time, it would be over. I would like probably wipe out my entire bank account. Everything. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't even know how much even is. Okay, if I were to take a private jet, a private plane, how much does it even cost? I don't even, I don't even know. It's $10,000 minimum. Not worth it. No, it, I, I don't. For me, I mean, I hate flying. I don't like airplanes. I'm not afraid of flying. It's just the whole travel experience to me. It's like the having to go through into the terminal and go through the security area and wait for everybody to get on the plane and get on the plane and then sit there and then it takes it takes like three hours to get on an airplane sometimes. I hate it. I don't hate being in the air. I just I just don't like the whole prospect of the amount of time and how annoying it is to actually get into the plane in the first place. But is that worth 
like 9,000 extra dollars because even a first class ticket on some of these airlines, that's already a, a huge premium on that seat. You could afford it. I, I think a lot of you guys may be overestimating my finances a little. Dude, bro, you are. You can do it, dude. Just take a private plane everywhere you fucking go. It's only like 20 grand a flight. You, you, hey, you got the money. You'll be fine. It's like, I think you guys may be overestimating uh, my financial ability to fly on a private plane all the time. Do a private jet stream. No. No, I don't want to do that. No, thank you. That whole stream is what? Just me flying on an airplane and reading a newspaper. And grabbing the, the sprite out of the flight attendant's hand. Just being like, thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's, that's, the, that's all the content. Thank you. Thank you. And then maybe like an hour goes by and I'm like, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, do you guys have headphones? Thank you. I'm going pick up range Andy right now. Stop saying Andy. We don't even say it here. I do. What do you mean? I, I'm saying it right now. I say it all. What do you mean we don't say it here? I say it every stream, like a hundred times a stream. Oh, did I read that wrong? What, what'd you say? You're overusing, you're overusing it. It's just such a quick way to get a point across about anything. It just really is. Like I told you, Zoomer, well that's, mm, I don't think Andy is Zoomer. That's more millennial. But like millennial versus Boomer. Like me sitting here and explaining this, what you're seeing on the screen, this character. Well, this character, I'll tell you. At some point throughout the last hundred years or so, fire, became a device that was able to be used coming out of a, a propulsion machine that has oil and a propulsion mechanism with an emulsifier in it. And what that does is that allows the fire to go forward and be able to do what you're doing, wiping out all those monsters that I see, and it's a pretty wonderful invention. Versus flamethrower Andy. I can get my point across very quickly. I'm at work. Say hi. Am I on the work TV? <laughs> yes. Man, I'll tell you. That the finance department is doing such an unbelievable job. If, if you can hear this right now, a lot of the departments that are working for this company are doing fantastic. It's a great experience I've had working with them. I have never worked with them, by the way, just for complete transparency's sake. I've never worked with anybody here. I don't know what this job is, and I don't uh, condone or support anything that, that anybody's doing unless it's proven to what that could be otherwise. So I'm, I, that was a joke and I have no idea what you do and I have no idea what's going on in this business. Centrist Andy. <laughs> I don't know the, what the fuck I'm talking about. That person could have just made that up just like I did. Verify your information, everybody, before you make any, any you make sure you verify info. Make sure you, I love how that turned, I love how that dumb joke just turned into, verify info. Can you please do your Adam Sandler bee sting on tongue impression? Is that close? I think that's what you meant. You should try Baldur's Gate. I've heard a lot about Baldur's Gate and I'm kind of afraid to put any time into it because I feel like it's one of those games where you need to know an entire encyclopedia before you start playing it. I think any, because Baldur's Gate is a, is a D&D kind of based on D&D, right? All I remember was hearing about, oh, this game is like kind of built on top of D&D. It's like a D&D game. Oh, cool. It was never winter. And I remember being like, whoa, I mean, I can like play this as like a ton of like characters and classes. And I remember playing this character that just, I, 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 I was so disappointed in the game because I, I was playing it wrong. And I remember just like playing it and the character I made, the only move that the character had was they went like Wee! they did like a whistle or like a sing and that was it that's the only move i did and i was just like this is not, i don't i'm not having any fun that was pepino <laughs> god damn it it was wm1 andy yeah you know what else is really funny too about getting a little older kind of starting to feel myself grow up a lot back when i first played team fortress 2 i remember I remember being like, oh, WM1, come on, you, you can do better than that. You suck at this game. What's with this? Yo, I'm Pyro, of course, this Pyro sucks. Now, I'm just like, oh man, I like this class a lot. This Flog class, I just can walk forward for a second. 
so funny. Everybody talks shit about Pyro until they play Pyro and then they're quiet. Right? You ever notice that? You sit there, you get killed by a Pyro and it's like, fucking idiot. What do you fucking even know about this game? What do you even know about aiming? And then you pick Pyro and you just kind of silently play it and you're like, wow, this is a lot of fun. Shh, I'm shh, quiet. No, I'm not having any fun. No, don't say that. I'm not having fun. It's funny. I'll say that about Spy too. Right, you get you get absolutely dominated by a spy that's just kicking everybody's ass in the server, and you're like, oh, what the fuck? Like, fuck you. Fuck you. And then you play spy and like bump into three walls and don't hit anybody. You face stab a person and die instantly, and you do you're zero for your team. And it's just like, oh, right, this is like kind of like takes like a lot of skill to really kind of do this reliably. I actually just shit my pants. I feel I feel bad for you, because that it sucks when that happens. Genuinely, it's really not fun. So, yeah. Sorry about that. You know what's funny about what you just said, though? Imagine shitting your pants and sitting there after shitting your pants. You just did it. And typing into a chat, Hey, I just shit my pants for real. While you're just sitting there? Like, okay. What? You, I, you should probably go take care of it first. Then talk about it. I think that that's probably a good... Uh, Order of, of operations there. Now, it would have been even funnier if you wrote, Oh my god, I just shit my pants, comma, space. What do I do? That would have added a little bit for me. Because that means you're just still sitting there and you're just like, I don't know what to do about this. Please stop, I'm eating. Sometimes I forget that... Because I'm this way too. Anytime the TV is on, or anytime I'm watching any media, Food is part of the picture at least 70 to 80% of the time. It's That is a food activity. Sitting and watching something for me. So, I forget that sometimes. That... <laughs> if I was just sitting there... Oh my god, I, I got my delicious spread! I've got my lunch and my dinner, it's right here! And... The person I was watching was just like... Talking about... Yeah. I get it. But then again, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to talk about. And that's it. Like, that's all I'm going to say. I can't, I'm not going to change it. Are there anything, any cryptids that you believe in strongly? Um, not necessarily. I mean, that, I, I do think there's probably stuff in the deep sea that we haven't seen that could be to the level of what you're describing. Look at the weird fucking animals that are down there. There are animals that have lights on their heads. There are some really wacky deep sea creatures. We have not really seen it all. So I'm one of those people where if it's kind of possible, then it's possible. But I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that the Loch Ness monster is, you know, ten thousand feet deep in the ocean. I know it. I don't know. Maybe possible. Do I think there's a, like a big naked guy walking around and you're in the woods behind your backyard? No. Not necessarily. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> like, do I think there's like a- like a 15-foot hairy naked guy that's walking around just kind of hanging out in the woods? I don't think so. I could- I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. If you ever do see Bigfoot, I feel like- I don't know. Would Bigfoot just run? Oh shit! Oh shit, another person saw me! Oh, I'm naked and I'm running around. Or, or would Bigfoot be like, listen, I know this is fucked up looking, and I know you know you found me, but let me tell you something. I've got a secret bank account. In that secret bank account, I've got fucking six million dollars. Don't say shit, and I will, I will fucking sell you the money. I'll sell you fucking ten thousand dollars a day. I don't know. Scammer Bigfoot. <laughs> you just, listen. Let me tell you something. I've got a bank account with ten million dollars in it. All you need to do is you need to send me fifty, and then I'll send you ten thousand next week. I will never trust Bigfoot. You're calling me Bigfoot? Like, oh, Jerma is Bigfoot. He's Jerma is a cryptid. He's Bigfoot. Don't you guys make fun of how small I am all the time? What's going on there? Yeah, there's there's a lack of consistency. Small foot. That's not even. That's not even funny. That's not, that is so easy. Come on. 
You're not Bigfoot, you're... Smallfoot. That's easy. That's way too easy. There's no way you can be big Bigfoot. You smell like ranch, and there's no ranch in the woods? Why can't I just take a bottle of ranch into the woods and drink it in the woods? Well, I don't understand the logic behind that. But there's no ranch in the woods. Why can't I just have it in my backpack while I'm walking around? Ranch dressing to me, and you're gonna think I'm gross. This is the take that a lot of people determine if they like you as a person or not, which is like, relax. I think that ranch is just a, it's just to me, I like blue cheese better. Anywhere I would be putting ranch, blue cheese is used in that scenario. Ranch to me is just not quite there. And I would prefer blue cheese to be the thing instead of ranch. I get that opinion because I'm a huge buffalo chicken fan. Buffalo chicken is probably my favorite food. One of the top three favorite foods ever. And that combination has just been burned in my brain forever. This dude eats crayons. He's lying. If they're dipped in blue cheese, um... No, I don't... Don't give him any more. Don't give him anything else. Don't give him anything else. That'll... I'll, that, that'll be... I'll, that'll, be on, that'll be on, like, Twitter. Jeremy eats, Jeremy eats crayons. Jeremy eats, Jeremy eats eating crayons. Jeremy eats crayons. Hey, did you hear Jeremy eats fucking crayons today? It's X now, idiot. Oh, the... Oh, that's right. It is. I okay. All right. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking? Okay. Well, whatever. It's, I'll see you on. I'll see you on X. Is that what it is? That it is what it is. Yeah. No one said that. Don't call it that. I do, I don't pay very much attention to Twitter. I don't even use social media. I don't know what the fuck is going on, guys. I use Twitter to like DM people and tell you when the stream is dming like other content creators and streamers and for oh hey you want to like, like oh, i'm doing this like house flipper thing like i th that's what i use twitter for cry me a river small foot ban that person for life <laughs> do it actually <laughs> execute order number 666 too many, too many duntas, too many duntas, too many. Too much. <laughs> Somebody's on stage doing that, and like the whole crowd's like, too many, these are too many of these, stop it, boo, stop! Too many, too many. This dude just got the microphone going. He will get up and leave. Nah, he, nah, he's, he, he really, he really is just fucking washed up now. Yeah, like that was all, that was awful. You hear, you hear how many times you did the Star Wars like interlude thing? Like, I, he fucking fell off. You think Bigfoot would enjoy your streams? No, Bigfoot's probably one of the people in here just like talking shit every day. <laughs> Imagine like, okay, you know, like a lot of like the boxing is like really kind of coming back. Like a lot of people are getting involved in boxing. There's like chess boxing and there's like, you know, creator clash and like there's a lot of like boxing events. What if somebody boxed Bigfoot and Bigfoot just beat the ever living fucking shit out of this person? It's like, oh, like uh, Germa versus Bigfoot. And this, and we we find somebody that's like literally fucking eight feet tall. That's like three uh, 400 pounds jacked. Unbelievable in unbelievable condition. And I think I can win. And I just get the absolute fucking shit beat out of me. Like, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And it shows me before the fight, signing a bunch of documents saying, Do not stop this fight. I will win. And he just like picks me up overhead and like throws me into the fucking crowd. After like six straight minutes. Of like... Like to, to my face. And then zoom in on some people in the front row that are holding stacks of money. With cigars and their mouths cheering because it's like oh my god this was free money this was so much fucking I, I this was so free why would you lose because that's funny i don't even want to throw one punch i want to taunt in the ring when the bell rings and then it's just me being hit in the head over and over again <laughs> i go out to the other side of the ring and i'm picking up like objects to hit him with like this is illegal like like it's over the fight's over i've been disqualified I'm picking up like mic stands and trying to hit him in the fucking head with it and stuff. Like I've already, I've, I've been disqualified. 
Or I get in the ring with Bigfoot and it's like a big deal. We do weigh-ins. Yeah, let's take let's take a look. Bigfoot has a, a about a 40 inches of reach on a, on German 985, which is not surprising. This is a Yakuza sub story. 